Oh man, I need something to eat. Freaking kale. Why do we have so much kale? Who eats kale? So a few weeks ago, you saw the video of me going out on a hunt uh, with some friends of mine. We went bow hunting and uh, we found some Hawaiian black rams. We were going after some New Zealand mountain goats, but um, these Hawaiian black rams made themselves more available. We were trekking through almost seven miles of rock country and quite frankly, I was ready to uh, call it a day. Uh, we were all tired, we were wet, uh, worn out, hungry and all this. And uh, we turned around and these two Hawaiian black rams were kind of just chilling there watching us. Um, and so uh, when we turned around to start to stalk them, of course they jetted. Uh, we found them up over the top of a hill. They were down grazing and uh, went after them. Uh, in the last video that you saw of us hunting them, it almost looked like we walked right up to them. Uh, and that wasn't the case. They were actually kind of down below with some boulders and rocks in between us. And let me just tell you something. When you throw an arrow at a boulder, the boulder wins. Lost an arrow on that hunt because, well, I missed. And, uh, but uh, I say that wasn't too bad considering it's the first thing I've hunted with a bow in about five years. But anyways, enough about that. Tonight, we're going to be taking the back strap. We're going to be trimming it off. We're going to be cleaning it up. And we're going to be cutting some steaks out of it. We're going to stick it on the smoker. Get a little smoke on it. And then we're going to sear it on the grill and grates. Everything that we use here today is not sponsored. It's just stuff I really, really like. Stick around. All right, guys. So here is uh, the back straps and the tenderloin of that Ram. As you can see here in the vacuum seal package, it says Ram 22220. Uh, that's when I had it sealed up. It's been in the freezer for a little while. Um, I did give the hindquarters away um, to somebody, but uh, here are the... Um, tenderloins and the back straps of that ram and so we're just going to clean them up a little bit and show you how I really like to do these uh, now I've never really done a ram before um, but I've done a lot of deer and uh, just looking at the color and looking at the fat and the marbling and uh, the lack of uh, I think I'm gonna have to do this a lot like a deer because these are wild animals and they don't have a lot of fat and uh, they're not corn fed or anything like that so uh, we're going to cut some of that junk off right there like bloodlines and you know some of that fat and some of these silver skin this areas and stuff like that we're going to get all that cut off and we're going to get it rubbed down again i'm not sponsored but i mean hey cosmo anyways i really like cosmos rubs I, they just they really work with my palate well uh, there's not just a single flavor there. You can layer it on and still taste the meat, but really get a kick in the pants uh, with some killer combos of flavor. So uh, if you haven't checked out Cosmos Q, check them out. Um, they are sold online or at different outdoor um, cooking places, but check out Cosmos Q. They're really great. So we're going to use a combination of cow cover and honey chipotle killer bee on these um, i think that the uh, honey chipotle killer bee it really sets that crust in uh, when you go to sear these and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get these all trimmed up i'm going to do an initial rub with cow cover and then i'm going to stick them on the smoker and then after they smoke and get up their eternal temperature about a hundred uh, degrees or so i'm going to hit them with some honey chipotle killer bee and throw them on my ammo can grill uh, that has a grill grate on top it gets nice and hot and then we're going to sear them on each side until they are 
perfectly cook to an internal temperature of about 140. Um, maybe a little bit less uh, depending on, on how they look on the outside. But I uh, want to get these up over rare uh, just because they are wild animals. Uh, probably nothing wrong with it um, to, to serve them uh, in the 135 range. But I, I want to get these up to about 140 to finish them off. So stick around. I'm going to start trimming these up and get them rubbed down. Alright, so we're heading out to the smoker. Try to ignore how extremely messy uh, my backyard is. I swear I am not a hoarder. I swear. Um, the only things that I hoard are uh, barbecue pits and smokers and tools and materials and guns and ammo. I mean, I'm not a hoarder though, for real. For real. For real though, I'm not a hoarder. Alright, so we've got the smoker. It's sitting at about 275. Uh, these Green Mountain Grills are freaking amazing though. Let me tell you guys, uh, if you've never had the chance to use one or have one, uh, you're missing out. So I'm gonna throw, uh, sorry, I'm gonna throw these steaks down, these fillets down right here. I'm gonna get them up to temperature at about 100 and 105 internal. And then I'm gonna light this bad boy up, which is actually a 50 cal ammo can uh, that I had cut out some holes uh, with a unit bit, thrown in some expanded metal, bought a grill grate, cut it down, slap it on there, and that bad boy can cook some steak. I will go to any SCA competition with this and beat people. I guarantee it. That's awesome. Anyways, let's throw some steaks on. Got our Weber cube down there. We just got lit. And oh boy, it's about to take off. I'll tell you, son, that right there is a cooking machine. We're gonna let that thing get nice and hot while these other steaks are getting smoked on the smoker, getting them up to temp so I can sear those bad boys off right here. And man, it's gonna be so freaking good. Okay, guys, it's been about 10 15 minutes, so I'm gonna break out the old ink bird. Uh, again, not sponsored, but Inkbird is a freaking awesome product. I'm going to open this up, sorry for the low lighting, and check these bad boys out. They're looking actually beautiful. I may have taken them a little too high. Uh, they're looking in, to be in their uh, mid 120s, but uh, I'm going to take them over here to this uh, bad boy that is flaming and ripping and uh, get that sear going on the outside of them. I'm going to hit them a little coat of that, uh, that honey chipotle killer bee. Alright guys, I think it's about time to throw these steaks off of the uh, Jim Bowie Green Mountain Grill and throw it over onto this oof, blazing hot ammo can grill. It's got that B&B &B charcoal in it. So what I'm going to do is, oh look at there, it's the brisket medic on TV. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get these swapped over. I'm going to sear these about 45 seconds on each side. Check this thing out. This comes with your grill grate, so you can order it with it. And uh, it's freaking awesome. Look, check it out. It goes right in between there. Flip it. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Anyways, I'm going to get these on here. I'm going to cook them about 45 seconds each side. Get them all seared and hot. Stick them inside. I've got a little secret ingredient that I'm going to finish it off with. And you are going to... Love it. So I just pulled these off of the grill and that was a horrible box of chomp that I did. And I pulled them inside and I'm gonna let them sit for a while. But while I let them rest, I'm gonna add a secret ingredient that's gonna blow your mind. You probably never thought about it. You probably didn't even know that you could buy it. 
but check this out. Bacon grease, bro. Bacon grease. Oh my goodness. Bacon grease by the tub. America. Bacon grease by the tub. I'm going to throw a dollop of that on there. I used to use butter, but now I use this and it's freaking amazing. Throw that on there, sprinkle a little bit of honey chipotle killer bee, and it is freaking awesome. So stick around. Alright guys, so we just got these um, sitting for a while, got a little bit of that bacon grease on top, get them a little extra honey chipotle killer bee on top, give it that nice little crust and flavor finish. So I'm going to pull one out, I'm going to slice it, I'm going to try it, and let's see how this wild ram that I shot with a bow is going to taste. I've never made wild ram before, a lot of deer, a lot of beef, a lot of pork. A lot of barbecue, never made wild ram. Holy cow, look at that. Mmm, freaking awesome. Tell me that doesn't look freaking amazing. Mmm. I'm gonna take this bad boy right here. All right, cut into him and see what it's like. Oh yeah. Medium. Perfect medium. Perfect medium. I was a little worried I'd gone too far. Nah. Nah. Try it out. Hmm. Nice and juicy. That Cosmos cube kicks in. You get the flavor of the meat. You get those spices. You get a little bit of that bacon grease, you get some smoke. Hmm. This is awesome. Hey guys, stick around. Next time we do another hunt, I will do a cook uh, and try out a new recipe with it as well. I've got some red deer meat coming uh, from the processor. It was a little too much for me to try to do on my own because it was a freaking huge animal. But we're gonna do the same thing. Uh, we're gonna make some steaks, we're gonna make some burgers, all kinds of stuff out of this. So stay tuned. Make sure you like, you hit subscribe, you share with your friends, you leave comments with recipes that you want uh, to see done, and make sure you keep following us here for more on Brisket Medic.